Hello guys, today I'm showing you my player on Battleground settings, how to install Rishet and also how to set it up. Uh, first of all, my English isn't the greatest, so I'll try to make myself as clear as possible. So yeah, sorry about that. Oh, on to the first part, the launch options. I'll uh, put this, I'll put uh, this in the description so you can copy paste uh, them faster. Use all available cores. Uh, pretty straightforward. Forces the uh, computer to use all available cores for the game. Uh, SM4 uh, forces the game to use Shader Model 4, which is another version and will uh, give you an FPS boost. Uh, this command is for uh, DirectX 10. Uh, forces the game to use uh, DirectX 10 instead of 11 for an extra FPS boost. This is a command for memory allocation that will deal with uh, random FPS drops. Um, so yeah, this is it with uh, launch options. Uh, move on with the uh, game user settings now. Um, go on to your <coughs> uh, user account, your PC's user account, app data folder. Um, if you don't have this, go into the control panel, search for folder, folder options, view tab, and check show hidden files and folders and drives. Now, app data, local, TSL game, saved, config, Windows No Editor, uh, game user settings. We will focus on, on uh, these settings. Uh, resolution quality, set it up to 90. It will boost some of your FPS and also uh, will not make your game look uglier. Uh, view distance quality set it up on 2, more than enough for you to see uh, uh, players from afar. Anti-aliasing quality set it up on 3, because the game uses FXA, uh, it doesn't uh, uh, drop your FPS too much, so 3 uh, uh, will make your game look a bit better and will not make you lose uh, more than 2 free FPS's. And uh, it's actually worth it. Shadow quality put it up on zero because uh, zero uh, it's very low in game, and also in combination with uh, the launch options SM4 for shader model uh, will uh, make the game not render any shadows. So you will basically have no shadows in the game for anything, uh, trees, humans, uh, whatever. Uh, Post processing quality set it up on zero. Um, this will only darken the game if you up it to more than zero. Texture quality uh, set it up on two. Uh, you can also set it up higher. It doesn't uh, make you lose if, uh, frames per second that much. And there's actually not much of a difference uh, higher than two. Uh, effects quality set it up on one because you kind of need to see some effects in the game like uh, bullets coming. Uh, to you um, and grenade uh, uh, effects and and yeah uh, foliage quality set it up on zero because uh, if you set it up higher than zero it will make your game render more bushes more grass and uh, we don't want that we want to see uh, the enemy as clear as uh, we can also go down uh, uh, to be used vsync and set it up to false and yeah that's uh, pretty much it here save it up go into the properties and check read only uh, this means the game cannot change your settings uh, whenever you uh, uh, go and play it uh, next time if you want to change settings again you you will have to uncheck this first then change the settings, then come uh, to properties again and check it, uh, check the read only again. So this is pretty much uh, the game user settings. Also now the good part, the reshade part. Uh, I just found out that it's a, uh, it's uh, actually legal. With it will not uh, trigger uh, the anti cheat of the game, as you, uh, I have proof here uh, from a dev. He says no, it is okay to use Rishid as uh, uh, Kevin here asked uh, if uh, he will get banned if he uses Rishid. So no, you can use Rishid and not get banned. Okay, I'll put a link in the description uh, to download Rishid. 
you you will get this click on it select the game uh, I already have here but I'll show you where to find it uh, go to where you install the game program files steam for me steam apps common PUBG TSL game binaries win64 and choose TSL game now click on direct 3d 10 plus click yes wait a bit uh, uncheck all of these plugins because you only need to use adaptive sharpen and technicolor 2 don't choose uh, the first technicolor choose technicolor 2 only these two uh, will be used press ok and that's pretty much it now to the setup of reshade let's go in game I'll probably have to lower the volume in game uh, and also up the the resolution. Okay, you can see already we have installed reshade. Give it a second for it to load. Okay, let me turn down the volume. up sorry about this okay now to set up reshit press shift f2 to open the uh, the command prompt for uh, reshade press continue you will have to make a profile for uh, reshade press plus Type whatever you want here, I'll type PUBG, press enter, now press continue and finish. And now uh, we will set up toggle keys for this. I usually set up uh, numpad slash and numpad uh, asterisk for this. As you see they are not checked yet because we have to make uh, some settings here. Uh, the adaptive sharpen settings I usually let them as they come, they're pretty good for me. Uh, I only changed the Technicolor strength to uh, 0.5. Okay. Also, in the settings, you can go here and put it to performance mode. Uh, it will give you some X, uh, some FPS back, uh, but you cannot change these settings if you put it on performance mode. You have you will have to go back to configuration mode. Also, you can uh, click here, show FPS, so you can get a FPS uh, uh, counter here. So, yeah. They are not checked yet. Let's see, let's close this. You can always open it with Shift F2. And now, let's use these keys to toggle uh, our Adaptive Sharpen and Technicolor. Let's see the difference. First one is Adaptive Sharpen. As you can see, it will make a game less less blurry. Now it's on. Now it's off. On. Off. Okay, uh, let's uh, set it up to on. Now let's uh, go to Technicolor. This is uh, without uh, Technicolor. The Technicolor is now off. Technicolor is now on. As you can see, there's a major difference uh, in color. You can tweak it as you want it. So now let's turn them both off. Now both on. Pretty much uh, a big difference. Okay, let's go in game and uh, check how uh, how they fare in uh, the real game. Okay, I found the first game. Again, guys, uh, any questions you have, you can ask me in uh, uh, in the commentaries. Uh, again, sorry for my English. 
Uh, it's not my native language. Okay. So now uh, all the reshade options are off. Let's check now uh, with adaptive sharpen. This is off. This is on. Off. On. You can see there's a big difference. Now let's uh, try the technicolor options. Uh, now it's off. I'll turn it on. As you can see, there's a big difference. Yeah, so uh, will not cost you more uh, FPS and also makes your game look look uh, way better. So yeah, for me it's worth it. I just wanted to share it with you, share it with you guys that ha don't have good PCs. Uh, so yeah, th this is pretty much it. Okay, good luck guys.